Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, today's video is going to be a pink and yellow halo eye, pink lemonade inspired um, eyeshadow look. Um, y'all, am I giving you guys spring vibes or what? Yeah, I feel like I'm giving y'all spring vibes with the shirt. Yes, ma'am. I got the shirt last year from Shein. I think it was last year. I want to say it was last year or was it last year? It was last year from Shein. Last summer, I got it from Shein. And I'm not really sure they still have it on the website. But I'll make sure to leave it down in the description box below if I can find it on the website for you guys. So you guys can check it out if you guys want to see it. I will show y'all the full the full thing. But, you know, your girl just put on this shirt for the sake of the video. But um, I thought it would just be perfect with this eyeshadow look. I love how this eyeshadow look came out. It's like literally like one of the, one of the easiest looks that I've ever done. Halo eyes are always just pretty easy anyway. Just like a two color eyeshadow look. And then just put like one color in the middle. They're so freaking easy to do and they're so freaking cute. I just thought to do a halo eye. And also this also um an uh matte eyeshadow look. So it ain't enough for me. <laughs> I look cute y'all. But like I was saying this is an all matte eyeshadow look. Because I just feel like I haven't been doing matte looks recently. I've been doing a lot of shimmers. A lot of glitters and stuff like that. So it's like you know. What to do with an uh, all matte eyeshadow look? It was very, very easy. You guys are gonna see later on in the video. Um, all the uh, products that I use will be down in the description box below. You guys see my new hair? Period. I did this like a couple days ago. I was gonna do a, a video on it, but this is my first time doing uh, like great twists like this. So I'll probably make sure to um, do a, I do a tutorial on it when I do some more. I probably do some more just like in a different color when I take these out. But yes. Man, I am giving you guys the vibes of what not is. Just get into the details, period. But if you guys like to see how I achieved this look, make sure to stay tuned to this video. And before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications so that you guys never miss any more uploads. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the video. Also, uh, so I know I feel like I'm rambling, but I also want to make sure to let you guys know to go follow my Instagrams. I have two Instagrams, if you guys do not know. Um, I have one Instagram underscore um, beauty by question, which is like my fashion and stuff like that. Also, I have another Instagram, faces by question, where I post my clients' makeup, also makeup that I do on myself. So this look will definitely be on my Instagram page tomorrow. So if you guys want to check that out, go make sure to check out my Instagrams and also make sure you guys follow them as well. So I'm going to be going in with my handy dandy. BH Cosmetics palette, y'all know this is my favorite palette for bright looks. I'm going to be messing with the pinks and yellows. I'll probably go in with another palette in order to like darken it or whatever else I need to do. But I'm going to be messing with the pink and the yellow column or row or whatever you want to call it. First, I'm going to be going in with a dark pink. So I'm probably going to be going in with, hmm, in with this pink right here, which is probably the darkest pink in the palette and I'm going to use that to build upon my crease now thinking about doing a halo eye just because I don't really do halo eyes I really do love them a lot so we're going to see if we can achieve a halo eye with this look so I have the pink on the brush and I'm just going to pack it on my crease so I'm just going to pack that pink very 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 bold because these are light colors and when I use light colors I like to make sure that they're very pigmented and yeah I have that one pink all over my crease. I kind of went up a little bit above my crease just because I really want it to be like popping. I want the pink to be popping in my crease. So yeah. So next I'm going to go in with the next lightest pink for this color and for this look. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here also in the back to Brazil palette. And I'm just going to use that to blend out this pink. Thank you. 
now I have the the two shades on my eyelids and it's looking very good I love how vibrant because you know it's springtime so your color should be vibrant you don't need no dull colors on your eyelids but go get you some pillow weed space go get you some very very pigmented eyeshadow palettes so your eyeshadows can be popping period but anyway so I'm going to go back in with that first shade that I just applied and I'm going to just revamp that color just because you know sometimes it can look flat as I always say so just make sure that you just go back in with that previous shade in order to kind of like make sure that you can see each shade on its own I'm going to go in with the lightest pink that I'm going to be using for this um, eyeshadow look. I'm going to be going in with this straight right here. This is the second um, color on the, well it's, on the, it's the first color on the second row in the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just going to use that to put right under my brow bone in order to just kind of like bring the whole look together. For the last um part, the last pink that I'm going to use for this look, it's going to be for the BH Cosmetics palette once again, and I'm going to be using this shade right here, and it's like a it's like a purple mix with a little of uh it's like a pink mix with a little bit of purple. I'm not going to use too much of it because I don't want it to turn like purple, but I am going to use this to kind of like pretty much deepen the look up because, and I'm just going to put this shade right here on the outer V and also in the inner corner of my eyes. Kind of meaning up to the center, but I'm not going to put it on the whole lid. I'm not going to go like all the way across. I'm going to leave a little bit of space in the middle, and that's where I'm going to apply my yellow. I'm going to pat it as if we're just trying to deepen the outer V, and that's it. In the corner. And even if you do end up getting some in the um in in the uh, center you can always just wipe it off anyways which is what i'm going to, going to do you just want to make sure you're just not automatically putting it all over the lead because you don't want that Okay, so now I have every pink that it, I pretty much are going to add for this look. And it's just a wipe that I was just using to uh, do my brows and stuff. I'm going to just basically uh, wipe off the center. Not everything or not, you know, all of it. But just kind of wipe off however much you want to, you know, want to use. As far as like when you put your um, yellow, you just want to make sure that you just wipe that off. Just so it can be like a clean base. So that you won't have like a mixture of yellow and pink in that area. You just want yellow so that the yellow can be as vibrant as possible. mistakenly add up if you mistakenly take off a little bit too much you can always just uh, reapply those shades or whatever you took off you can always just reapply it. but this is the amount that I feel like I want to put the yellow and then you all you'll just automatically just put some more pink on top of it anyways so I'm gonna be using two different yellows because one yellow is a little bit more cool tone than the other one one is one more uh, cool tone and one is a little bit more yellow tone so I feel like if I was to add those two together it'll give me the perfect yellow that I'm looking for for this specific look this yellow right here and also this yellow so I'm probably gonna apply the the warm tone first because I feel like it's a little bit more darker than the other one and then I'm just gonna probably like put the other one on top actually I forgot to mention this I actually want to go a little bit with my P. Louise base apply some of that P. Louise base where I where I took off that uh, shadow to apply my yellow because I want the yellow to be very vibrant in the middle unless you have like a pigment or something then you're fine but if just using like a regular eyeshadow, I definitely would recommend you guys to just use 
a pubes base or like any kind of base or a concealer that you use before you apply your um eyeshadow shade so that like i said whatever color that you go in with can be is it's very as much vibrant as you need it to be now i'm gonna go in with the yellow So I'm definitely gonna go back in the end and what or whatnot and go back and put some more of that yellow on. But for right now, I'm just gonna go back in with I wanna say the darkest and the lightest pink that I used for my um for my crease. I'm gonna go back in with those two pinks in order to kind of like blend this out because it just looks like I just splattered some yellow on my lid and I don't want that. I want it to look very blended. I want So off camera or you guys saw in the last few clips I just went ahead and did the, the pinks and stuff and I also went ahead and just added some more of the yellow probably will still end up adding some more yellow just because I feel like it's not really vibrant the way I want it to be I definitely recommend you guys to use like pigments but I don't have any pigments on me at the moment so that's why I just had to go ahead with my um matte yellow um eyeshadow but I definitely recommend, recommend you guys to do a pigment if you are going to recreate this look or you can just do a red a yellow um shimmer or like a gold shimmer but i wanted to do yellow because i specifically wanted to do yellow i'm going to show you guys my lashes um on camera just because usually most of the time i be reusing my lashes so i never really have the packaging still but you guys already know that i get all of my lashes from the beauty spa store i do have a a huge um lash haul that i did on my channel like two months ago and which you guys apparently love because it is doing so great at the moment and i'll definitely make sure to look it down the description box below and also in the card above if you guys want to check that video out i'll definitely be making sure to do a part two to that video as well because a lot of people have been recommending me to do a part two with other lashes that the beauty store has but anyway so decided to go ahead and show you guys today the lashes that i'm going to be using for this look it's the brand miss 
Miss Extreme Lash. And I actually love this brand. One of my favorite brands that I like from the beauty spot store. They're not really long. They're not like 25 millimeters or whatnot. Because I don't really like doing 25 millimeters when I am doing a huge, like a you know, very cute eyeshadow look or whatnot. So these are how they look. And they're very, very cute. And these were either $1.99 or $2.99. So they're like either $2 or $3 at the beauty supply store in Memphis anyway. I don't really know exactly how much they are in other cities or other states or whatnot. But in Memphis, they're $2 to $3 dollars without tax but yeah either way it goes it's still very inexpensive so i definitely recommend you guys go check out the video spot store and lashes because they be popping anyways i'm going to apply these lashes off camera and also i'll probably do a little bit of my face makeup off camera as well because my um camera battery is like almost dead so i'm gonna let my camera battery charge while i'm doing some of my face makeup off camera then i'll hit you guys back up when i'm about to get ready and apply my lip oh yes come through period Y'all, this looks so freaking good. Okay, and so for my highlight, I went to want I wanted to do a gold. At first, it was coming off a little bit more like pearl or iridescent, but I didn't want that. I wanted it to be gold because when I think of a look like this, I think of just like a very gold shining and just like highlighted highlight. So I wanted to do a gold. I think it just goes so perfect with the yellow, and I also wanted to put some gold in my inner corner. I also put a little bit um. Uh, my brow bone as well. I'm not really sure if I want to do a yellow on my lower lash line or if I want to do pink. I'm leaning more towards yellow, but I feel like the yellow won't really like pop out the way I need it to. But we're going to see. I'm going to try the yellow first, but if the yellow doesn't work out, then I'm just going ahead and do the pink. But I'm going to be using the two yellows that I use for my, um, for my lead colors. My lip I'm not going to do anything major I just feel like a the perfect shiny pink lip gloss would look so good with this so I have um, two NYX, NYX lip products and one is a butter gloss and the other one is a metallic lip cream a soft matte metallic lip cream I've used this one on my channel before and this is in the shade um, angel fruit cake it's like a purple it's like a purplish tone but if I was to mix it with this which I plan on doing I think it's gonna give me the perfect combo that I am looking for this this came with like a little kit that I got for Christmas last year and this is um, like I said a soft matte metallic lip cream I'll make sure to leave both um, lip products down in the description box below I have not tried this one yet, but I did a swatch of it on my on my forearm or my for the back of my hand And I think it's like the perfect the perfect shade that I'm looking for and this is in the shade Nancy's Nancy, so like I said, I make sure to leave them down in the description box below I'm gonna um swatch them for you guys so that you guys can see how it looks before I actually apply it It's very very sheer. So it's definitely one of those products that you like that you would need to use like on top of another product So this is how it looks right here if you, I don't know if you're really gonna pick up on camera because I'm looking at my viewfinder and I just see like a I just see like a white cast, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you guys can actually see how it really looks. But it's like a pink sheen, but then it has like some reflex of like gold and silver and like yellow and stuff like this. So I think it'll be the perfect gloss or like the perfect top for my um, lip combo. I'm not gonna do a lip liner. I just want the natural gloss that just gives you like a very sweet, very calm, very casual, very cute, um, simple gloss look, I guess. <laughs> Whatever I just said. And then I'm going to go in with this. 
yeah it's cute i think it'll be perfect for the blue it kind of give me like icy vibes but it also gets me like spring summer gloss like, you know how like in the summertime when you don't need any makeup on you just want to put you some cute glosses and cute lashes on this is what this is giving me so i'll just continue packing it i think that's enough applying because i think the more i apply it on the more white and stuff it's gonna look so i think this is cute it's very very sheer like i said you can put like a lipstick or you can put like a lip um you can put like a matte lip under it and then just top it off with this so it could be a little bit more full coverage. Um, I guess it's like the finished product or uh, or whatnot. Of course, I'm not really done though because I still have to do like my hair or whatnot. But I'm going to do go ahead and do my hair and my edges and stuff off camera. And then I'll meet you guys in the outro. Alright, so yeah, so that concludes this video. As you guys can see, I went ahead and just put on a very cute top. This was like a top that I had in my bag, and I just like it would be the perfect top to put on with this eyeshadow look. I'm not going anywhere, you guys. It's like very late at night. But I just put on for the sake of this video. And I just I forgot to mention this to you guys, but I went ahead off camera once I realized I put some mascara on my um lower lashes because I just was missing it. And I was looking back at the video, I was like, okay, I'm missing some mascara. So I went ahead and put mascara on and Yes, I just got the hoop earring. It just gave me like Hawaiian, island, springtime, summertime vibes. I'm making this video. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the post notifications so that you guys never miss any more uploads. Also, make sure that you guys follow both of my Instagrams at underscore beauty by Korsha and also faces by Korsha where you guys will see my beauty content as far as like um clothes, fashion, and stuff like that. And also, on faces by Korsha, you, you guys will see the makeup that I do on my clients, some of which I actually post on my YouTube channel. And also just clients that actually pay me to do their makeup. Also, the makeup that I do on myself. So this look will be included on my Instagram page tomorrow. So make sure to go check out my Instagram pages. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel.